What's up everyone, welcome to Cracker, which is comics, reviews, awesome movies, comedy, anything else I think kicks ass. This is episode 43, I believe, and that is my best of collection of DC Comics, which uh, originally I thought I didn't have that many, but uh, I actually do have a lot. Um, I used to have just one small box of DC, but now with all the new ones that I got, I'm going to have to expand to a large box. But um, before I get into my DC collection, uh, I probably should have just showed the entire collection, but you know what? show you the best of and then uh, episode down the line I'll show you the rest of my DC but um, before I get into my DC collection I want to thank uh, one of my new subscribers which is YTP I'm up to 36 subscribers now cool thanks for subscribing appreciate it and uh, I want to discuss something pretty quick I know this is a this is a DC thing but uh, I wanted to go over something real quick from Marvel because I kinda had a question so maybe somebody out there can answer it um, as you can see Amazing Spider-Man 300. This is the real one. It's very cool. Which I'm very impressed. Love to have, love having it in my collection. But um, I also showed my Chrome edition of 300. So real and Chrome. And uh, a lot of my friends are telling me now that, and I've, I've read a lot about it, that the Chrome edition is extremely rare and now more expensive than the regular edition. So I'm just kind of curious to know if that's true or not. If the if the Chrome edition is actually as rare as everyone says it is. Because uh, there are things, I mean, I got this from the comic book store I worked at, so it was very cool. Um, I don't, really don't know where the hell he got it from, but uh, anyway, everyone's telling me how rare this is and how hard it is to find, but I'm just curious if everyone knows if it really is rare or if it's just a bunch of BS compared to the uh, the real one, like I said. But uh, anyway, I'm going to move on to something else I just thought was cool, that I was going through my stuff and, uh, like I said, cleaning out my cave. And uh, I have a lot of these, but I just forgot to show you real quick, because, again, I thought they were awesome. Um, these two things came from the Spider-Man McFarlane era uh, trading card sets, which is just pretty much the cover of uh, thirteen, uh, number one and thirteen. I just thought they were cool cards, and uh, these things are awesome. But I haven't been able to find them. Uh, I collected them when I worked for the comic store FunQuest, and they were just really cool. There was like I think it was like twenty-five cents a pack, and they were called Webs, which is basically McFarlane made them. And uh, take a look, it's Credible Hulk 340 and Spider-Man from 300. And what they are is, they're stickers. You know, I didn't take them, obviously didn't peel them. But they're just cool stickers, and I'm trying to find out if anyone knows how to get these. Because I have, I think I have like maybe like 10 of them. 10 individual ones, but who knows. And uh, just something cool. A hologram card from Spidey's uh, 30th anniversary. Alright, now that I've done my Marvel section, this might be a long update because i got a lot to show you. I'm going to go into my best of DC because uh, people demanded it. Um, one thing that's pretty funny is I just have thousands and thousands of these friggin' Earth 1 Batmans. I have a whole box of these, so it's a little insane. Um, so I might as well kick it off with that. I know they were freebies, and like I said, look at that. There's just, just so many of them. And like I said, I got a whole box. It's insane. Just from getting stuff. But, alright, now I'm kicking off the best of DC. If I had to start off with something, I guess it would be Action Comics number one. From 1933, the first Superman. Very, very cool. And I'm just messing with you. This is not the real one. <laughs> this was a real one. I probably wouldn't be making videos. This is actually, it's a reprint of what Superman's first comic looked like. Probably had a couple of people go, oh my god, he's got it. No, I don't have it. Um, I wish, but I don't have it. Um, moving on. This is Detective Comics uh, number six. 37. Now, the reason this is cool is actually when I was working at comics, this guy came in, um, Jim Fern, and did a sketch for me to cover over the, uh, see, it's signed to the sketch. Uh, it's the guy that actually did the art for this particular issue. I've never taken it out of the bag, so I'm not going to about to do it now, but I just thought it was really cool. Uh, from one artist to another, I thought that was just awesome. And uh, this seems to be extremely popular now, so I had to throw it into my best of collection as I make a mess. Um, like I said, everyone's talking about this. Everyone's trying to find it, and that's Batman the Killing Joke. Yes, I do have it. <laughs> it's uh, it's crazy. This actually was just an awesome book. It really was. Uh, and if you're a Batman fan, you have to get this to your collection. It's just one of those musts. Um, you're actually going to see a lot of new 50, uh, not 52s, but a lot of new DCs, because I really don't have that many old ones. I'm working on it, but like I said, I never, I didn't become a, a real DC fan until um, 2002, so I got a bit of catching up to do. 
But uh, in my collection, obviously, Justice League number one from the New 52. Just thought it was awesome. Uh, we're gonna make a mess, so. These are in uh, the hard plastics, but this has never been opened. Death of Superman, and never been opened. Rebirth of Superman. Got them all sealed. They're in their poly bags. Very cool. Uh, moving on. Got two copies of these. I actually got this when I was working at Target. Um, they gave them out. And as seen on Cartoon Network, it's Just League Unlimited number one. I actually have two of these. From what I understand, you only got them through Target. So that might make them pretty rare. I think I might actually have more. I'm not really 100%, but I, I know I got two, obviously. And uh, so that's pretty cool. This is no particular order, so be like, oh god, they're in order. So I apologize, I just picked them at random. Well, not random, but you know, mixed them up. Um, Batman and Robin number 11, I just thought was an awesome cover. I'm gonna try to get through these. Uh, Batman Incorporated number one, because I'm, I'm a very big Batman fan. Uh, Batman the Dark Knight number six, basically like a redoing of when Bane broke Batman's back. Green Lantern number six, cause I just thought that was an awesome cover. Where Sinestro basically controls Hal Jordan. Um, Firestorm number one. I was never a huge Firestorm fan, but when the new one came out, I actually like it, and I think it's just one of the awesome 52s, one of the better, I guess, ones out there that they've done. Uh, I gotta get the whole run. Like, I missed a few of them, but I got number two. And number three, because like I said, it's awesome. I do have a couple of the newer ones. But I gotta fill in the gaps because, you know, just missed a few. Um, a couple of my older ones. This is Tales of the Legion of Superheroes, uh, number 337. Uh, let's see, Tales of the Legion of Superheroes, number 338. And let's see, number 343, Tales of the Legion of Superheroes, The Death and Rebirth of Wildfire. Some well of DCs. <laughs> uh, let's see, I got Justice League Heroes uh, number one, which is the uh, the comic book prequel to the thrilling new video game that came out. Um, I actually got this when I was working at EB Games. They gave them out when you bought the game. But me being cool, I didn't have to buy the game, but I did buy it anyway, eventually. Another Justice League number one. <laughs> Put that over there. I knew I had two of them somewhere. Um, Justice League of America number one. Let's see, this is um, Batman number three from the New 52, and it's signed by Greg Capullo. He was a really nice guy. Signed it right up there. Very cool. And, of course, I have uh, Batman number two, also signed by Greg Capullo. Signed in yellow. Uh, Just League of America number zero, which is signed by uh, George Perez, right on Superman's S. Uh, one thing I, I didn't throw into my Marvel uh, Best of Collection is I have a lot of George Perez signatures. I actually have a lot of signatures, period, on a lot of Marvel stuff. And I just I guess I didn't go through thorough enough. I didn't pick them. So, But George Perez is awesome. He was a really, really nice guy. And um, I got a lot of his stuff signed. That's cool. Uh, the Return of Bruce Wayne, number three of six. I got this one signed by Yannick Paquette. The top over here. Which I actually have to put a new bag because it's actually ripping. That ain't good. Put that one to the side. Uh, Green Lantern Rebirth number one, which is signed by Ethan Van Shiver, who was another really awesome dude. Uh, where is it? Uh, it's right, <laughs> right up here. Signed, yay! As well as uh, what is this? The Green Lantern. I can't remember anymore. Number one, signed by Ethan Van Shiver. Very cool. I also got him to sign my uh, Batman Superman number 29, which was just an awesome cover. And of course he signed it right there. Kilowog's uh, thing there. Uh, Batman Odyssey number one, I got signed by Neil Adams. Very cool guy. He knows how to multitask. Uh, definitely cool guy to talk to and he was actually, every time I met him, I met him twice. I met him at the New York Comic Con last year, and I met him at the Philadelphia Comic Con this year. And both times he was drawing while he was talking and signing. It was, it was just cool. Um, Savage Hawkman, number one, which I liked. I thought it was cool. Like I said, I got a lot of number ones because I just had to do it. Captain Adam, number one. 
which is awesome. Uh, Grifter number one, I got signed by uh, Nathan Edmondson, who's the writer. Uh, signed right up on the top. And I got number two signed by him, which, uh, where is it? Right here. Can't see him too well. It's kind of, my lighting sucks. So, what can I tell you? Um, just because I love this cover and Aquaman's actually awesome. Aquaman number 11. Very cool. I just like I was stabbing him through the thing. That's awesome. Black Man is down. Uh, another one I just liked that was cool is Batman number 640 with Superman. Uh, this is another one I got signed by George Perez. Superman number 6. Awesome cover. As you can see, it's signed right under there. So that was cool. Uh, another one I got signed, Superman number 1 by George Perez on the bottom. Again, very cool guy. He signed pretty much everything I had. Uh, Superman number 2 signed by George Perez. Very cool. Green Arrow number one, signed by George Perez. Right over here. Very cool. Green Arrow number two, signed by George Perez. As you can see the theme going on here. Uh, Batman number one, signed by Greg Capullo. Signed it right there. Superman number three, signed by George Perez. Like I said, I went a little nuts. Uh, this one is not signed by anybody. <laughs> Ran Thanagar War, uh, number one. Uh, Batwing, number one. Pretty cool book. Nightwing, number one. Cool book. Uh, Robin, number zero, from way back when. <laughs> yes, they had zeros way before the New 52. Uh, Batman and Robin, number one. Batman and Robin number seven, which I thought was an awesome, awesome cover. Obviously, this is during the return or um, death of uh, Bruce Wayne or death of Batman. Batman and Robin one shot. Uh, Bruce Wayne, the road home. <laughs> oh man. Alrighty, fix my glasses. I'm good to go. Um, Batman the Dark Knight number one. This is the second printing, I believe. I actually, I think it's the second printing, I believe. Uh, if it is, let me know. Actually, I'll probably just read on the inside. But I don't think I have the actual first printing, which I'm going to have to track down. Batman Detective Comics, number one. Awesome cover. Batman The Return, uh, one shot. Very cool. Just another awesome cover, and the fact that it's number 700. Batman number 700. That's a pretty cool jump. Uh, High up number. <laughs> Batman number 679. Probably should have showed that first, but that was just an awesome looking cover. Batman gliding down. This is when uh, Batman dies, kind of thing. Uh, Superman the Man of Steel number 20. Funeral for a Friend part 3. Superman in Action Comics number 692, which that was an awesome, awesome cover. Uh, Superman in Action Comics number 687. Another awesome cover I liked. It opened up and showed Superboy, I think. <laughs> uh, Superman Special Edition. I forget where I got this from, actually. But that's what it looks like. Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman Trinity number one. And number two. I don't have number three, unfortunately, with Wonder Woman on the cover. Superman and Batman, or Batman and Superman, whatever you want to call it, number one. Very cool. Red Hood and the Outlaws, number one. Catwoman, number one. So this is going to be a long video, so uh, sit back. <laughs> Catwoman, number eight. Batgirl number one. Uh, Joker's Asylum, the Joker number one. Very cool. The Creeper number one. Oh, I just thought he was one of the awesome, most underrated characters of all time. Um, 
let's see, this one is Batman Adventures from the, this is from the cartoon, basically, number 16. Let me try to speed them up for you, so I don't kill everyone's time. Uh, Supergirl number three. This is uh, Superman number 701, which I just thought was an awesome well, cover, number one in storyline, where Superman just kind of walks around and helps people as he goes by. Kind of like David Carradine and Kung Fu. <laughs> Another one that I love the cover of, Superman number 150. Superman number 147, which is uh, where Superman gets Green Lantern powers. Very cool. Uh, another cover I love, which is uh, Superman Back for Good, number 82, Reign of the Superman. Just an awesome looking cover. I think it's a chrome one. Uh, this is Superman number 76, Funeral for a Friend, number 4. Just a great cover. Batman throwing the cape. World of that Superman. This is um, Superman number 75, which is the death of Superman, but this is what it looks like outside of the bag. Some people I know didn't open their Supermans, so if you wanted to know what was inside, here you go. Death of Superman, what it looks like without the poly bag. <laughs> um, the Adventures of Superman Red is for Superman Blue, number uh, 555. I just put that in there because it's just one of those pivotal things where DC was like, what are we going to do now? I know. We'll make Superman two different guys, a red and a blue one. <laughs> Ay. Um, this is another one I just love the covers. Adventures of Superman number 505. Very cool. Another one I thought the cover was cool, uh, The Adventures of Superman number 501. This is another one where it opens up and it's another Superman in there. Alrighty. Uh, this is The Adventures of Superman number 500. This is the... Uh, what it looks like, the the return of Superman when he was brought back to life, the white poly bag. This is what it looks like outside of the poly bag. Because I did open a uh, one to read it. And of course you've seen the one sealed. It's like a, it's an awesome cover. It's like this weird, like, trans, not transparent, but it's just like this weird thing over the cover. I don't know how to explain it, but it's just cool. And this is actually the reprint of it. The rebirth of Superman. Getting there. So long, uh, I pulled a lot. I probably should have pulled so many, but what the hell? It's almost my entire collection there. Um, this is the Flash number one. Uh, Flash number one from the New Fifty Two. A lot of new flashes. <laughs> um, this is the Flash number um, number one from way back when, in the eighties. Uh, Flashpoint number one. Uh, the Flash, The End, number 230. I just thought that was an awesome, awesome cover. And then there's number 247 of The Flash, Wally West, finished. That's when he retires, done. Bear with me, like I said, just trying to make room here. Alright, still got a lot to go, unfortunately. Uh, Green Arrow, number 50. Still up the cover. Green Lantern number one from the New 52. Red Lantern's number one. Awesome book. Uh, the Return of Bruce Wayne number one. I think I have all these. I'm, I think I'm missing one out of them. I gotta look which one I'm missing. Uh, Superman number zero from way back when. Awesome cover. Superman Strength, which is like some kind of one of three, but I only got the one. I never, saw, never found the other two. But it's like a thick book kind of comic. It's supposed to go over all of Superman's powers. Obviously, that one goes over strength. <laughs> uh, let's see what I got here. Blue Beetle number two. And Blue Beetle number three. And Blue Beetle number four. Justice League number 12. Awesome cover. Could be a key point there. Uh, Green Lantern, the annual number one. Just love the cover. Still haven't had a chance to read it yet. Green Arrow number zero. Just awesome. Aquaman number one. 
which is just freaking awesome. It's one of those ones where you didn't think Aquaman was going to be good, but he actually turned out to be great. Green Lantern number zero. I don't know why I threw this in there, because it's not one of my favorites, but Action Comics number one. The Justice League Adventures from the cartoon number seven. Let's see. Uh, the Day of Vengeance, six months until the Infinity Crisis, number one. Spectre, I believe. Uh, Blowout, Justice League of America, number 254. Very interesting. Uh, let's see, Countdown to Frenzy, Justice League Quarterly, uh, number 9, which uh, looks like it's seen, definitely seen better days. Let's see, Justice League number 2, which is an awesome cover of Superman fighting Batman with the Kryptonite chain, I believe. I'm sorry, Green Lantern's chain. Whoa. <laughs> uh, let's see, Batman Incorporated number 3. Just really love the cover. This one apparently everyone's going crazy for now because of the movie. Um, Batman number 497, which is the breaking of the Batman, where Batman gets his uh, back broken by Bane. Very cool. This is uh, number 498. Number 500. The Detective Comics Annual Number One, which I still haven't had a chance to read yet. Got to get to that. And last but not least, Detective Comics Batman Detective Comics Number Zero. That is it, everyone. Twenty-one minutes. Damn, wow. But that's the my my best of DC. So you've seen the best. Um, there's about I'm gonna say maybe like maybe a hundred comics left of my actual DC collection. So you'll see that uh, down the line. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks to my new subscriber. If you like what you see, hit the like button, comment away, questions, whatever you want. Uh, hopefully somebody can find out about that uh, Chrome Spider-Man, if it's really that rare. And, um, again, if, you, if you're somebody new watching this, check out my other videos. If you like, hit the little subscribe button. Appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. And uh, see you guys in the next episode or update, which chances are an update will come soon enough. So, uh, anyway, later.